Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Well, it's quitting time. I'm right by the main highway here in the Bob Manitoba, uh, Canada, north of 53, Boreal Forest. Uh, great place. This is just a wonderful place. Here, we'll take a walk over here, take a few seconds. Anyhow, uh, I, we've been having a really, uh, a really hard time with light here. So uh, just after work, I finally got a little bit of light with some clouds, as you can see. But we're losing the the, the camera gives you maybe a stop and a half, two stops more with its AI. But we're losing light fast. So uh, this is uh, secret lens number three. Uh, so uh, let me restate why I'm doing this. I'm not telling anybody what the lens is. You can guess, but I'm not going to answer the guesses because it's not about that. It's a, it's going to be a seven lens series. They're all primes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm removing the gear from everything. Like we're not uh, we're not getting into this lots going on here. We're we're not getting into the uh, you're seeing the product before you're told what the gear is at the end, right? So uh, it's a, it's kind of a concept I came up with because there's I'm feeling there's a lot of bias reviews going on with some of these lenses without really a real world view. So uh, I took this chance and it was an idea and and uh, Mr. Patrick and Holland's hey Patrick how's it going man? Yeah, we uh, we 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 think it, you know we discussed it and and I think it's a really good idea because it's something new uh, and this is what this is what this is all about. We're removing all the bias. We're removing all the gear talk and everything and just showing you the results. And then uh, we're always using the 810. Look at here comes some logs. busy place. We're always using the uh, D810 on all these lenses to give us the best that we could possibly get out of these lenses. So uh, this is why this is happening. It's a, it's just a concept of uh, removing all the gear talk and all the, uh, all the reviews that other people have done. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, you got the judgment in your head already with bias of what you're going to see out of a lens. So you don't have that with this. With this, you have the photography, you got me, you got the photos I've been taking, which is another thing I'll have to explain today. I don't have much choice. So uh, you're getting what I can possibly find with some depth because I like to shoot for depth, as we know. We are shooting all these lenses at F16. And uh, there it is. We're losing the light so fast, <laughs> look at. Look at pretty soon the street lights are going to come on. I know this this phone is fixing it, but we're very close to having street lights coming on. So like, subscribe, click the bell. I hope you understand what this concept is all about. Uh, that's it. So lens number three. <laughs> at the end of the at the end of the whole series, we will be uh, just telling what the lens. Like I'm going to be having a sort of an overview video of each lens, short videos, matching it to the episode so everybody knows what's coming. So please be patient and please enjoy, really, really enjoy this new concept of uh, seeing the results before you know what's doing the, you know, what lens we're using, what gear we're using, except for the DA-10, of course. <laughs> Even I'm confusing myself. Okay, everybody, like, subscribe, click the bell. See you later. It's getting cold. Bye, bye. Look, look at look at the white. There's white. All the trees. It's been so. It's been a lot. So much warmer here than normal. That the trees have been covered with white for gosh over a week now. Usually it's about minus thirty, and really we're we're only at about minus ten, minus eight. This is this is phenomenal. Okay, that's enough. See you guys later. <laughs> Oh,